हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम यू अगेन दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ माई ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज बल्क आरएनएसिक डेटा एनालिसिस एंड इन दिस पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन डाउनलोड द आर एन एसिक डेटा यूजिंग द एस आर ए टूल एंड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट हाउ यू कैन डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑल द पैकेजेस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बल्क आर एन एसिक डेटा एनालिसिस इन द कोंडा इन्वायरमेंट एंड हाउ यू कैन मैनेज ऑल द पैकेजेस इन द कोंडा इन्वायरमेंट माई पर्पज फ्रॉम दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज टू अवेयर यू to download the raw arenasic data that is publicly available and use those data for your learning purposes for arenasic analysis as well as to compare your study with the already published data so let's start so first i am going to show you from where you can get the raw arenasic data for this search the ncbi in the google and open the ncbi website and if you click here drop down option at all database and select the geo data set and here you can search the gene expression data i'm going to search bulk rna seq and you can open any study having the gene expression data and all other information about the study but apart from this keyword search you can click here on the search this will direct you geo data set home and if you click here geo home now we are at the gene expression omnibus home and here we can search the same thing using the keyword or geo accession id so i'm going to search bulk rna seq geo data set database and the same thing we can open from here and you can open any study and you can get all the information and the geo accession id related to this study you can see here at the bottom here you can see sra run selector and if you click here this will direct you at sra run selector and you can get all the information about this study and here you can see sr id related to the raw rna seq data file bio sample information sa type and the size cell type geo accession id instrument used for the rna seq library type single end or pair end and all other information you can get from here so we will use this sr id the sra tool to download the fasta q file for this i'm going to open my terminal in the linux system to the issue for the root user as i already discussed in my first tutorial i will use the conda environment to analyze the rna seq data so i'm going to activate the conda environment to activate the conda you can type conda activate here you can see base is active so we are in the conda environment by default base is active but we can get the list using the conda env list so i am going to activate the rna seq demo in which i have already downloaded and installed all the packages required for bulk rna seq data so conda activate rna seq demo now we are in the rna seq demo so i am going to check the sra tool which is already present in the this conda environment or not for this command is conda list and here you can see sra tool is present version 3.1.0 installed from by conda channel so i'm going to clear the screen using the clear command so now i'm going to show you how you can use the sra tool to download the rna seq data using the sr id first i am going to make a directory in which i will download the rna seq data mkdir single in data i am going to change the directory now we are in the single in data there are two type rna seq data file pair in or single in in the single in rna seq data only one primer 
is used for the sequencing but in the pairing there are two primer forward and reverse both used for the sequencing so in the single end only one FASTAQ file is generated and in the case of paired in two FASTAQ files generated forward and reverse. The method is little bit different in both cases downloading and extracting the data. So first I am showing for the single end and before downloading the data it is very important to assign the directory in the SRA tool so that you download the data in that particular directory. For this there is two methods to assign the directory for downloading the data in SRA tool first is bdb bdb config dash i this will open graphical interface where you can use the mouse or tab button to switch the tab and assign the directory so you can use the tab button as well as mouse to assign the directory for downloading the data you have to select the Cache option here, and I'm going to select the cache using the mouse, or you can also use the tab button in the keyboard. Press enter, and here you have to provide your directory to download the data. But I'm not going to set the directory here, I'm going to show you other method to set the directory. So I'm going to press enter to exit from here the other method to set the directory is type vdb dash config space dash dash prefetch dash to cwd cwd stands here current working directory so this is very good command to set the directory to download the data so i'm going to press enter and you can see the message here prefetch will download to current directory when public user repository is set and now i'm going to show you how you can download the rnac raw data file there are two major steps first download the sr file and next extract the first acu file from that file Prefetch SRR two three five five eight four three five press enter Here you can see file was downloaded successfully. So we can check that using the ls command. So SSR file is present in our current directory. So the next step is extracting the FASTAQ file from the SR file. For this command is FASTAQ dash dump and SR ID. press enter now I am going to check again ls here you can see srid dot fastaq so we have successfully extracted the fastaq file from the downloaded ssr file so in this way we can download the single end rna data and extract the fastaq file now I am going to show you how you can download and extract the pair in data in which you will get the to read for each SR ID. For this I am going to exit from this directory cd dot dot power slash enter. Now I am going to make another directory mkdir pair in data. I am going to move in the pair in data directory cd again I am going to use the prefetch command to download the sr file 
टू थ्री नाइन थ्री जीरो एट फाइव वन प्लस इंटर Here you can see the SSR ID was downloaded successfully. I'm going to check the directory using the ls command. You can see here SR file is present in this directory. So this is the different SR file from the single end data. So there is some differences in the extracting of the file in case of parent. So command is faster q dump. space sri id 2393 space dash dash split that files and you can also put dash dash skip technical Press enter. Now I am going to check the directory using the ls command, and here you can see faster q read one and read two is present in the directory. So in this way we can download and extract the pair in data using the SRE tool. So in this tutorial I discuss how you can download and extract the rna seq data file in case of single in and pair in and also how you can assign the directory to download the data file in sra tool and i hope this may help you in your rna seq data analysis and thank you for watching my video and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you